lad holding the bag is my nephew, fresh from the city. His country cousins have got him chasing all kinds of crazy things. I can remember being fooled into chasing Twizzleblats when I was a lad. Seems like I ran in circles for days until I... Well, excuse me for running on. I'm Washington Irving, a writer of sorts. Well, actually, I've been called the father of the American short story, thanks to Rip Van Winkle, a little tale I wrote in 1819. It's been called the first American short story. Why don't we go into my house? Of course, stories of one kind or another have been around for a very long time. Tales, legends, fables. But what makes the short story different from other kinds of storytelling is that the writer very carefully chooses every word and incident to create a single sharp impression. Whether he's talking about a moment in time, a particular feeling, a special character, or just an ordinary place. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, here we are, The Chaparral Prince. The Chaparral Prince was written by a fellow named O. Henry, one of America's great short story writers. And to my way of thinking, this is one of his best. doing out here I I was just taking my break I'm real sorry sorries don't interest me now get back to work what do you have there nothing really give nothing it to me important. now what is it Grimm's fairy tales servant girls who work for me don't read understand it gives them ideas makes them forget what they're supposed to be doing give it back you want it back? All right, fetch it. Now get back to work. There's a whole room full of men there waiting to have their dinner. Go on. I'll make up stories for you. Stories about dragons and princesses, and we'll tell them together. I knew all the stories by heart. I always knew where to turn first. To the parts about being lost and rescued just when you thought no one will ever save you. I know. Come on, Lena. We'll think of something. Your prince is probably on his way right this minute. Mama, Mrs. Maloney slapped me today. Nothing I do seems to please her. And every day, it just gets worse. Mama, please, I want to come home. I've tried, but I can't stay. If you don't send for me before two days pass, I'll know Daddy won't let you. I'll just run away and never be heard of again. I love you, Mama. Lena. Jeb! Jeb! Lena! Now you get some sleep. You need all you can get. Could you send another letter for me? Has Jeb ever turned you down? <laughs> send her sailing. Your mom will have it by sunset tomorrow. Chris! Huh? Chris! Oh, glad I caught you before you turned in. I got a letter. So you've taken up letter writing, too, huh? Well, this here letter is from Lena over at the inn. Ah, Lena. The little one. Yeah, she ain't doing well. That father of hers ought to be hung. 
sending a little child like that out to work away from her mama for three bucks a week? Three lousy bucks that he pockets. Well, I'll see if I can't get some treat for her in town. She has a real liking for rock candy. Oh. Good night. Good night. boys, but let's say we have a little fun, huh? Yeah! What's your business? Well, excuse us for not introducing ourselves. I'm Rattlesnake Rogers, and these are my associates, a Mr. Ben Moody and a Mr. Hondo Bill. The Hondo Bill gang, huh? We're just paying you a little social call. We'll leave you of your valuables. So what's the matter? You haven't got any trains to rob? Mind your manners, old timer. I hand them over. The valuables, you say? Your ears are working real fine, ain't they? Good. Me and my horse, all we're doing is delivering the U.S. mail, so we'll be seeing you. Just a second there, old man. You leave my petunia alone. You dog! My petunia! <laughs> I like to see a man like his horse. There, simmer it out. We don't mean you or your petunia there no harm. Come on, boys, give me a hand. Petunia? <laughs> They send a lot of money through the mail of that town. Uh -huh. hey. hey, boys. I guess we found what we was looking for. Let's have it. Have what? What you talking about? Nothing. Except maybe that letter your toes got a crush on. Now that ain't nothing to you. That's just a letter from a little girl to her mama. Here, I'll read it to you. What the devil's the matter with you, old timer? You ain't insinuating that we ain't gents enough to take an interest in the little girl's health, are you? Dearest Mama, this may be the... Dearest Mama, this may be the last letter you ever get from me. Mrs. Maloney slapped me today. How old is this little girl? Eleven. Where's she at? At Ericsville, up at the inn. You dad burn scoundrel. Robbing banks is one thing, but stealing a little girl's letter is more than a man can bear. Boys, tie him up.
just knew you'd come. Wake up, Gramps. I ain't the Sandman handing out seconds. <laughs> Yep. Here you go. Yeah, here. Ain't nothing supposed to stop the U.S. mail. Come on, get. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You're a slow one today, Fritz. Well, I'm really sorry, Molly. But you see. The horse and me, we was bushwhacked yesterday by Hondo Bill. Him and that varmint rattlesnake were... Well... Here. You would have had it last night, but... Said she's gonna run off. This is all your fault. If you hadn't been so greedy, Lena, would be with us right now. You are never sending our children away to work again. Never. They're gonna have a home. Mama? Do you understand? Mama? What was that? Mama? Mama! Oh, my daughter. My darling, darling, darling. A prince, a real prince, came and rescued me, just like I always knew he would. Hondo Bill. Just one of O. Henry's surprising characters. A bad guy who turns out to be a lot nicer than some of the so-called respectable people around. What's that nephew of mine getting himself into now? We should have sent him after a unicorn. Here, Uni! Here, unicorn! <laughs> That's our cousin. I think I smell trouble brewing. I have another story here about what happens when city kids and country kids meet. It was written by Borden Deal. It's called Enteus, a name Deal borrowed from a Greek god who drew his strength from the earth. No place I ever played before. Come on, you'll see. Rusty, you know we don't lost strangers up here. He's okay. He just moved in my building yesterday. I said he's okay. Howdy, I'm TJ. PJ? TJ, you heard him. TJ? What's your real name? Nobody has just initials. I do, and they're TJ. That's all the name I got. Where are you from? Alabama. Say, I thought you said we was gonna go somewhere and play. This is it. Well, seems to me if I had only this to play, I'd have built me a field. Or a park to grow something in. Like watermelons. You ever try growing watermelons on tar paper? I ain't fool enough to think of it. 
You could haul some dirt up here, spread it out even and water it. Before you knew it, you'd have yourselves a private park. They wouldn't let us, TJ. Thought you said this was you all's roof. You know, we might have something there. We could build ourselves a regular roof garden. Trees, grass, everything. Like rich people? Why not? What do you say? Doesn't sound so great to me. Could we really do it? When do we start? Fix it? Can't. Besides, the bird will eat it. Nature don't waste nothing. Oh, well. I'm not sure I'm gonna work. Don't you know anything? Square not silly knots gonna hold that bucket. Give it here. Okay. Sweet son. Says the sweetest and easiest to grow. Sure. Okay. Then catch as it is. You know, I've been thinking. After the melons grow in, we ought to think about planting some more roots. <laughs> what are you boys doing up here? How did all this stuff get up here? Sure is growing good, ain't it? We planted it. Grass. Yes, sir, grass. We towed that earth up here and planted it. And we was just fixing to plant us the water. What do you mean, there. putting all this stuff on the roof of my building? You want to go to jail? Well, the roof wasn't being used for nothing. So we just thought to pretty it up a bit. See that all this junk is shoveled off by tomorrow. Yes, sir. You can't do that. It's our earth. We planted it and raised it. Maybe your earth, but it's my roof. It's going to be cleared off tomorrow. And I don't want to catch you kids up here again. You understand? You ain't got no right! Wait a minute! 
Can't stop them? No. They own the building. Come on, we're lucky they didn't call the cops. They ain't gonna touch our earth. They ain't gonna lay a hand on it. We planted it. We'll take it down. I can't touch it. I can't lay a hand on it. I can't lay a hand on what we made. They can throw us off. They can't touch our earth. I'm packing it up. What? I'm packing it up. Heading back to Marion County. Marion County? My daddy won't take me there. I'll find my own way. You can grow things there, Rusty. It ain't no crime. But you can't go. You can't go now. Not after everything. Besides, we got planning to do. You see what could have done us here? We'll begin again. Another move. Oh, uh, vacant lot. Sorry, city planting ain't for me. You can't go. After teaching us how to grow things, you're just gonna let some guy come in here who hasn't planted a seed in his life come in and cut you down? You gonna run from a guy like that? I'm safe cotton from boll weevils. Hay from locusts. Even spent whole days picking caterpillars off in my corn. Is that all the guts you have? But I ain't about to let no city fella keep me from, keep us from bringing in a harvest. I ain't going back to Alabama. We gotta find ourselves a new roof. And pretty soon, laying in a fall crop ain't gonna be easy. was quite a boy. It seems that everything he touched grew, including the people around him. Edgar. One minute there, boy. Here. Where are you racing off to now, lad? I've got a trap to set. Twizzleblats? Oh, something like that. Maybe the lad's not so green after all. Now, an author who can write a story on just about anything, and usually does, is Ray Bradbury. And this is one of my favorites, The Invisible Boy. You ain't never catching me, old lady! Your stay ain't up. Not just yet. Two weeks, that's all my folks that I had to visit. Things are different now. I got used to your prattling. Don't make no difference to me. It does to me.
on now. You're crazy, Annie. Crazier than the rest of the family put together. Let me in. More than one way to skin a cat. Leave me alone! I ain't gonna hurt you! Now you let me in! I had enough of this, Dalton's. I ain't never had no nephew treat me this bad. I'm telling my folks, they'll never let any of us come visit here again. I'm warning you, Annie. Oh, open up, Charlie. Or I'll make me a potion that'll knock that door off its hinges. I ain't never coming out. All right. Have it your way. I thought I had one of these. <laughs> Mammy always used to say they was good for almost anything. <laughs> Charlie? I hear you behind there. Now, you got one more chance to let your old aunt in real polite-like. Or else I'm gonna magic the door off. Now, well, don't say I didn't give you no warning. <coughs> Mammy never did know nothing. What happened to the door, Auntie? Charlie? Charlie? If you come out, I'll teach you things. I'll teach you how to make yourself shopproof. How? Dig and stitch mouse ear root on Friday during a full moon where it rounds your neck in a white silk. You're crazy. Teach you how to stop blood. Make horses stand frozen. Make blind horses see. All them things I'll teach you. I'll show you how to make yourself invisible. window glass. You're funning me. No, I'm not. Make you clearer in brook water. Real invisible? Real invisible. You won't fetch on to me if I walk out? Won't touch a bristle on you, son. Well, all right. Make me invisible. Must be 10, 12 years since I made my last invisible. <laughs> Pair of twins. Always fighting. Parents thought the best way to keep them apart was. <laughs> I ain't told you this one, have I? Oh, well, never mind me. You know I love the yak. <laughs> I once dressed up a billy goat. <laughs> Taught him how to do the Virginia reel. <laughs> now, I ain't told you that one, have I? Three times last week. Well, then, you know how Maybeth Pickens, nearsighted old goat that she was, she danced a full reel before she... <laughs> ah, 
Oh, dear. <laughs> you ain't no fun. There. Now, give me lock of your hair. <laughs> now, put this in your back pocket and you leave it there. Go on. went so fast, quicker than a hummingbird. Come back to me, Charlie. But I'm here. Oh, I can, I can hear you, but I can't see you, Charlie. I'm by the fire. I'm by the fire. And I can see myself. I'm not invisible at all. Well, of course you can see yourself. Invisibles always know themselves. Oh, I sure did a trick that time. Whoopee! <laughs> Quickest invisible I ever made. Charlie, you still there? I'm here, Annie, I'm here. Oh, oh, how do you feel? Like creek water, all stirred. You'll settle. What you gonna do now, Charlie, since you're invisible? I'll run across wheat fields, and I'll climb snow mountains, and I'll steal chickens off in farms, snap girls' garters in school, <laughs> and other things I'll do. I'll do, I will. Don't try nothing with me. I'm as brittle as spring ice. I don't like handling. Don't worry about me, Annie. I'm fetching myself home by way of some apple pies I know is always cooling on a certain windowsill. Ain't old Miss McCollin for a surprise. What about your folks? My folks? Oh. Well, you can't fetch yourself home like that. Scare the ribbon straight out of them. Your ma just fall right back like fallen timber. You know your pa. Oh, he'd, he'd shoot at the nariest thing. Might just fill you full of buckshot, thinking you was a hill squirrel. Gosh. And girls. What about girls? They don't like being kissed by a mouth they can't see. Well, I'll stay invisible for a spell. I'll just have me some fun. I'll be pretty careful is all. I'll stay invisible for tonight and tomorrow you can fix me back whole again. If that ain't just like a critter. Always wanting to be something they can't be. What do you mean? Takes real hard work getting you fixed up. An old lady needs a good long rest between making spells. Well, I'll make myself visible give you back your old charm. Won't do you no good. Takes magic to undo magic. You, you did this to me. You make me back, make me seeable again. Ah, uh, just simmer down. It'll wear off bit by bit, like a coat of paint. First a hand, then a foot. How will it look, me around the hills with one hand showing? Like a... Five-winged bird hopping on the stones and bramble. Or a foot showing. Like a small pink rabbit hopping from stone to stone. Or my head floating. 
like a hairy balloon at a carnival. How long before I'm home? Oh, not long. Oh, maybe a year. Folks ain't gonna want you around before that. But you can stay with me. You can stay with me, child, and keep me company. And I'll teach you plenty of tricks. I did this on purpose. Just to keep me here. You old hag! Charlie! Charlie, don't! Don't, don't run away! Come back! to announce yourself, Charlie. You scared the bejeebers out of me. Are you gonna make me visible or not? I'd like to oblige, but I think you'd be better off concentrating on your responsibilities as an invisible. I do wish that boy would come home. Auntie. Charlie! I never thought you'd come back. I remembered how to make people visible. You did? Uh, you ain't up to no good, are you? No! Just a coincidence I remembered. Take the charm out of your pocket and pour these ashes over it. See your right toe. There it is. Keep pouring. And your left ear hanging in the air like a pink butterfly. And your ankle. I'm forming in. And your feet. I'm forming in. Shaping up fine. I'll need my head to go home. No. No. You ain't got no head. No head? Oh, Lordy. Yes, you got your blamed head. I can go home. I can go home. I can go home. healthy having no one to talk to. Life weren't meant to be lived that way. Never doing nothing for nobody. Nice hot apple pie.
see he ain't got no appetite tonight. Well, I'll wrap it up and I'll put it where I usually do, in case you want a snack. I'll be right back and then we can tell stories. It looks like the old lady found a way out of her loneliness after all. Hmm. I wonder. Might be a story in that. <laughs> As you can see from the chaperone prince, Antaeus, and the invisible boy, you can find whole worlds in short stories, if you look, and I hope you do. But better still, why don't you try writing your own short story? You don't have to wait for a hondo bill, or an old lady, or a TJ to come along. There's all kinds of interesting things happening. Thank <laughs> you. 